the legislature has spoken and um, it underscores the sanctity of life that the people of Alabama value so highly. That's Governor Kay Ivey defending Alabama's new law banning most abortions in the state. The new law led to protests across Alabama this weekend. Good evening. I'm Sherry Jackson. And I'm Jack Royer. We start tonight with Capitol reporter Rashad Hudson asking the governor about the criticism the state is facing. The fallout continues after Alabama's abortion bill was signed into law. And it's the president who are calling these abortion bills that we're seeing around the country too extreme. He's saying he'd like to see exceptions for rape and incest. Governor Kay Ivey joined the Alabama Department of Tourism Monday to announce new tourism numbers. Alabama sells itself. We're going to continue to market Alabama in the very same positive way. Way we have. But in the backdrop is the Alabama Human Life Protection Act, which criminalizes abortions. President Donald Trump suggesting in this tweet that Alabama's law may have gone too far. Here's how the governor responded. Well, the bill passed House and Senate overwhelmingly, and the amendment to include uh, exceptions was defeated. So the legislature has spoken. Ivy was asked about potential investors pulling out of the state. No, I have none. Don't expect to. The state saw $1.8 billion in tourism, and the governor says she doesn't see that number decreasing. Reporting in Montgomery, Rashad Hudson, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.